I don't know if we can call this a crypto correction anymore. It's looking like a crypto dump. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'm back with another one. In today's video, we're going to be covering what's going on in the entire crypto space, why I'm mostly in cash, what I'm looking for as far as the weekend, and some possible catalysts that can continue us to go that can have us continue to go to the downside. So if you like videos like this, please hit that like, subscribe, leave a comment. Do you think we're going back down to 10K? I'd love to know you guys' opinions in the comments. All right, let's get into it. So you can see crypto bubbles. We're literally dumping, dumping. Everything is looking nasty. It's looking ugly. And these are a few point points of interest that's been going on inside the entire cryptocurrency so first and foremost we had a large sell order on binance um here on tuesday a single sell order of 16,000 bitcoins worth more than 467 million was placed on binance one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges this caused a sudden drop in the price of bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and triggered other investors to sell their holdings as well as resulting in a downward trend now you got to understand family Bitcoin went from 15,000 to literally almost 31k. So you got to expect a lot of people to take profits. You got to, you know, you know a lot of people bought 10, 20 bitcoins at 15k. Of course they're going to take profits on a 2x in a potential bear market, macro environment, and even recession out here in in the western states. So again, we're seeing some large sale orders, people taking profits. Two, we got a high inflation metrics in the UA, UK. The Office for National Statistics reported on an inflation figure of 10.5% for the month of March. Man, let me know if you're out there in UK and if everything is expensive, which is significantly higher on the Bank of England's target of 2%. Significantly higher. Yeah, that's way higher. This has raised concerns among regulars, regular regulators that they may have to raise interest rates to control inflation which could cause investors to avoid risky assets including cryptocurrencies which i agree you know um I mentioned a little earlier in the video that I am personally in cash right now. I've been contemplating just going full YouTube, you know, just going full YouTube, man, because even with my personal business, you know, the um, supplies and everything is just costing so much money. I'm not really seeing a profit. It's like everything that I put into my business, um, I, I pretty much. It, it, it takes all the profit. So I've been really, really contemplating I'm um, going full YouTube. So if I do make that decision, because that was part of the, the brand, please support your guy. You feel me? I'll be rolling out some um um some sponsorships, you feel me? So please support your guy, you know what I'm saying? Really, really working on making this thing. Um, take, taking this uh this channel, this crypto channel to the next level. So, you know, if you're interested in um just knowing about my portfolio and different things that I'm actually doing within the cryptocurrency space, uh, check out the links in the description. Um, become a member, join the Patreon, and you feel me? And if you know you get that top tier, you know we can do that one on one. But yeah, I've been looking at things a little bit different because we're, we're seeing massive layoffs, which we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. And then three, we got liquidations in the crypto market. Within 24 hours, about 240 million was liquidated from the crypto market due to margin calls, which occur, occur when margin traders borrow funds to buy cryptocurrencies and don't have enough collateral to maintain their positions. As a result, exchanges automatically liquidate their positions to cover their losses, causing a downward pressure on the market. Ethereum and Bitcoin saw the largest amount of liquidations with 58 million and 63.6 million respectively and the largest single order occurred on Binance with somebody having 3 million liquidated. So a lot of people getting wrecked this week because that euphoria caused so many people to go long. And the thing was, you know, a lot of people was like, oh, Bitcoin go to 30K or 32K, altcoin season comes. You know, in the whales, they pay attention to that. Whales pay attention to that. Uh, at the institutions, you know, they're not our friends. You know what I'm saying? The Fed, who has a whole bunch of Bitcoin, they're watching that too. You know, they're ready to dump on us. And that's what we're seeing in, in, in the crypto market. So you got to... um. Again, you got to be safe out here. You got to do what's best for you. Let me know in the comments, man, how um, your current situation is. You know, don't, you know, feel free to be completely honest. I like to share what I'm going through personally. So feel free to be completely honest inside the comments. Uh, Taking a look here at the DXY, you can tell that it's not really a, a DXY issue. Okay, we're not getting a lot of strength here on the U.S. dollar. We know, I mean, a lot of, a lot of these countries are moving away from the U.S. dollar, but it's not like the DXY is, you know, headed Head it back, you know, to the top. Um, head it, head it, head it back to the upside, and we're seeing crypto going down. That's literally not the case. We're still seeing consolidation here from the DXY, which is necessarily a good thing. In fact, on the daily, the DXY is completely overbought. So maybe we see this thing 
um, go down um, even lower. You know, I would love to see this thing go down lower. That would be that would make so much sense for the entire crypto space. And that would really confirm that we could possibly be in a a bull cycle here. But you can see here, family, that let me see if I can actually find it. Uh, the last time, you know, we were in a bull cycle seems so like so, 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 so much long away. Um, you can see that we were around 90. So, you, you know, we need the DXY to be around 90 to really feel confident that we are in a bull cycle. Again, the DXY is just extremely too high right now. And I mean, until this thing comes all the way down and resets, I can see it still trading in this consolidation um, pattern here. Just, you know going going sideways you know that's very very boring for the dxy but again at least it's not going up which would be very very bearish uh, for the entire crypto market i'm taking a look here at the tether dominance now the last time we were in a bull cycle here um the tether dominance was around anywhere from three to two percent family i mean it seemed like it's been a while since we've seen two to three percent on the tether dominance and uh right now it seems like the tether dominance wants to go back up a lot of people are in fear um, because of the macro environment, because the crypto regulation was really going on with the SEC and so many of these countries and even the high inflation here with the UK. So even the tether dominance seems to be trading sideways as well. We need a tether dominance to come down, man. Anywhere between 4% and 2%, I think you could say, okay, altcoin season, bullish momentum, bull cycle. But until then, family, you know, we're, we're just in no man's land. I can't even say we're in a bear market. I just think we're in no man's land. We're kind of like in that <laughs> that purgatory room trying to decide if we go into heaven or hell you know what i'm saying so again it did i mean we did break the we did break the uptrend here for the for the tether dominance but it's, it's not like we're headed back down you know it's just trading sideways and it's really you know people were uh, are trying to make that decision whether we're going up or down so you know maybe this thing continues to go sideways plus we got a um, potential reversal candle right here engulfing green candle which is usually when we're talking about engulfing green candles, we're talking about something that's bullish. But with the D, with the USDT uh, tether dominance here, this is actually bearish. So we need this thing to come down all the way back down to the four percent, two percent, three percent range, and then we can, you know, officially say that we're in a bull cycle with bullish momentum. Not to add family, you know, it, it, it gets worse. Okay, we we got a lot. A little look at the layoffs, man. Oh my God, man. Coinbase, Robinhood, Snapchat. Glassdoor, Zoom, Amazon, Meta, everybody's losing their jobs. So you got to ask yourself, you know, if people with people losing their jobs, will they still have interest in cryptocurrency? I mean, if you were in a position where you were actually losing your job, would you would cryptocurrency be on your mind 110 percent of the time? Most likely not. So even though this is kind of like I don't want to say it, I know it sounds bad, even this is kind of like bullish for the entire market, because this is what. This is what the Fed want. They want to um, tame the inflation. The easiest way for them to use their tools to tame the inflation is cause people to lose jobs. So you could say this is bullish, but you can also say this is bearish because, you know, then, you know, a lot of people priorities change when they lose their job. They 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 probably sell their cryptocurrency because of the current situation um, that you're in. Let me know how you guys feel. If you lost your job, would you sell your cryptocurrency? Would you hold the cryptocurrency? You know, feel free to let me know inside the comments, interact. And of course, um, we do have um, Fed emergency bank loans, which rise to one hundred and forty three point nine billion from one thirty nine. So um, the money printer is on. The money printer is on, man. The money printer is on. But it's just too much outside noise from the macro environment to say like this is bullish. OK, uh, money is tight right now. Money is tight right now. And a lot of people priority is just not risk on assets a lot of people have moved to risk off they're more concerned with um taking care of their debt taking care of their everyday responsibilities and um taking care of their family and that's okay that's okay in cryptocurrency you got to do what's best for you it's not a rush you know it's not a rush to the finish line it's kind of like if you got the extra you invest if not you know you just go on with your life and you kind of you know fix that first you know don't be investing in cryptocurrency if you got other things going on that's more important and i would tell anybody that self even myself so again family keep your head high keep your head up but you know this this has been a very 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 nasty week as far as a correction okay so we don't want to um we don't want to get too excited <laughs> to where oh my god it's the end of the world crypto is going to zero because that happens every time it dead 
we see a sharp move to the upside and people are like, ah, oh, so my bag right when we move into the upside. And meme coins are still going. But you know what they say? When meme coins start to pump like that, usually it signals the top. We did get that from PayPay. I think the FOC meeting is um almost less than 10 days away. So we'll just have to see how this thing actually turns out out taking a look at dog alarm because i did put it in the title we are sitting at 6029 i don't want to cover too much on elon i'll do a separate video but what caught my attention in the reddit is that nearly five hundred thousand dollars worth of dog alarm mars has been transferred to binance's peg wallet over the course of 10 weeks my question to you family is does this mean trading could start soon a year ago in april binance accepted the deposit of elon so we're still seeing these binance wallets collect elon over time and a lot of people are starting to um uh, uh, starting to think like hey we could possibly be getting a binance listing so when you see these um days of pain and red in the cryptocurrency market and this goes for any of your projects i know a lot of people on the, on on the part of the community have you know very diverse portfolios you know this is the time that you lightly dca not financial advice but if you don't got it you don't got it and don't feel bad man because there's many cases at sometimes when um crypto dumps and we just don't got it like right now i'm not buying any cryptocurrency even in the midst of this dip i'm in cash i need more confirmation because it's just a lot of stuff going on and i have to protect myself first and foremost so if you want to know more about that like i said link will be in the description uh but we'll just have to see is the, is the recession there man is the recession near that's the question that i have for everybody inside the comments it's getting a little rough Will we pump into the weekend? I think we may get a little pump into the weekend. Is this a correction? I think this could be a correction. Could we go back down and retest lows? Some altcoins are looking like they want to retest lows, but I do see strength in Bitcoin. And as long as we continue to have this banking crisis where the banks continue to have to get bailed out, the narratives will still be there for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then hopefully altcoins can follow suit. But that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you go, you know what I'm saying? You staying strong over there. You know what I mean? If you got to, you know, take some profits and do your thing, I respect that. Do what's best for you. Uh, make sure you do your research on all cryptocurrencies. I am not a financial advisor. Check out the links in the description. Um, Yeah. Freaky Friday. You know what I'm saying? Fast running, independent day, and aggressive yuppie day. All right. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'm going to see you in the next one.